Excellent. What's up guys and welcome to my coverage of CES 2017. We're kicking things off here with some reports from the Zotac suite, which is here at the Palms Casino. I wanna start off by saying a huge thank you to my sponsors for this event coverage, Gigabyte, Toshiba, as well as Deepcool. A big thanks to them and uh, click on their links down in the description below. Now, uh, Zotac had quite a few things to show off for us here. Uh, currently, Joe is doing a demonstration playing some Gears of War 4 on this tiny little mini ITX system. Now the system itself uh, is pretty cool. It's got a Skylake Core i5 in there and everything, but the main thing that they're showing off is this graphics card, which you might look at and think, oh, that's like a cute little 1070 or 1060 or something. That's not true. This is a 1080, a full on GTX 1080 in a package that is two slots wide and just about eight and a half inches long, which is definitely one of the tiniest, probably the tiniest uh, GTX 1080 I've seen. Zotac has done some other upgrades to this, for example. They uh, have, of course, continued with their nice backplate design that they have on there, as well as a cool-looking shroud. The backplate they've gone with the more subdued design, so black and silver on there. They've uh, gotten rid of the yellow. Uh, the yellow was a, a fun accent, but perhaps a bit too much color for people who didn't want yellow to be the main accent color in their system. And, um, yeah, as you can see, it's performing just fine. Fits in, I mean, this case can obviously support much larger graphics cards, but if you have a small case or a scratch build or you just want to fit a ton of power into a very small package, you can with this GPU. Uh, now, my questions about it were like, is everything to spec normal? And yes, it is. Still got the 8 gigs of uh, GDDR5X memory. Uh, and the clock speeds are still running at the reference specs that uh, NVIDIA provides for their Founders Edition cards. So specifically, that is uh, 1620 megahertz boost. Uh, base clock and 1759 megahertz boost clock, which is very impressive and nice to know that they've been able to make a much smaller card and not sacrifice on the clock speeds. Next up is a product that Zotac actually recently announced and launched at their 10 year anniversary events. It's right here. It's very heavy. Uh, it is a GTX 1080 with a water block on it uh, that Zotac worked with Thermaltake actually to put together. So again, they have their more subdued version of the backplate here with the silver stripe going across it instead of the yellow stripe. And then just a monstrous water block on there. And uh, I'm going to actually cheat here for just a moment. This is called the GTX 1080 Arctic Storm Thermaltake 10 Year Anniversary Edition, which is quite a mouthful. Uh, of course, all the standard specs for a 1080 you would expect. It has two BIOSes integrated. Uh, one's a 1632 megahertz base and 1771 megahertz boost. Second BIOS will bring that boost clock up to 1797. And of course, we all know GT GTX cards will often boost themselves up much beyond that. And of course, if you're getting this card, you should probably just overclock it yourself, get yourself much higher uh, clock speeds than that. Everything else is pretty much the same. G1, G1 quarter compression fittings, a Spectra lighting system integrated as well. And that, again, all copper thermal take block in there. Uh, and a specially designed motherboard from Zotac with 16 power phase delivery. So a monstrous, crazy card. And Zotac actually said... They haven't had many people review this card so far, so let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in me doing a specialty review of a graphics card that comes pre-equipped with a high-end water block like this one. Pretty cool card from Zotac. And now we're over here at this table where they have very, very small computers. And if you're familiar with Zotac, you know that they make really tiny computers. Uh, they're often proprietary design to some degree, but I like that Zotac often gives you some expandability options as well. So very frequently you're able to take these little systems apart, dive in there and maybe upgrade a 2.5 inch hard drive or add additional memory. They typically don't solder the memory on or anything like that. But they have refreshed this line of uh, mini PCs specifically for KB Lake. And this one that I'm holding right now is actually passively cooled. So they have a pretty cool uh, kind of honeycomb design going around the outside. Plenty of ventilation on all four sides. Uh, more specifically, this is the mini PC CI549 Nano. It has an i5-7300U processor, which I believe is a 35 watt TDP version. It includes vPro and Unite, which are functions that you're probably not as interested in unless you're doing stuff in an office environment, but it's basically security that's integrated into the hardware that allows you to more securely remote in to do video conferencing and that kind of thing. Also tons of IO available on these. I like that they've integrated SD card slots. Uh, then you also have three, not two, but three USB Type-C connectors, two on the front that are USB 3.1. Uh, there's also a USB 3.0 up there. Uh, three more USB 3.0 on the back, as well as Wi-Fi integrated, and then that Thunderbolt port. So that Thunderbolt port, of course, works for Thunderbolt connectivity. Uh, it also is backwards compatible with USB 3.0, so you can use it as an extra USB port if you want to. Um, or, you know, use Thunderbolt, because Thunderbolt's pretty freaking awesome.
What's also pretty freaking awesome is that's again, this thing is entirely passively cooled. Now, that's one option. This t entire table is arrayed with different variations, different sizes, um, depending on your needs and how much power and that kind of thing. But uh, the one they actually have set up here with the Doom demo running uh, is really cool because it's the Mini PC MI549 Nano, an i5-7300U processor in there. Uh, of course, it's got Intel HD graphics. You know, the KB Lake processors have upgraded graphics for this generation, which is one of the, I guess... I don't want to say the few benefits, but you know, KB Lake. Uh, go watch my video on KB Lake if you want to hear more about performance. But benefits and performance and features is additional support uh, for Thunderbolt as well as multiple M.2 devices, as well as the capability to do something like this. Tiny little uh, box right here. It does have active cooling on this one. There's a little bit of a fan, but they have a Thunderbolt connection going up here to this little box, or perhaps slightly larger box, depending on your basis for comparison. This is what is currently known as the Zotac external graphics dock, which is, I believe, a working title. But basically, it's an external uh, box that you can connect up via Thunderbolt to put a dedicated uh, graphics card, a discrete GPU in. And then you can connect up something like a laptop or one of these little mini Zotac systems and use that as your GPU. So you can have a very small, lightweight, low power system. And then if you want to switch over to some gaming, plug in this box, get yourself a full-size graphics card. It's got an integrated 400 watt power supply. And it's still a work in progress. Um, they said that this outer shell is supposed to be a gunmetal gray, which is a little bit darker than what it is right now, which is more of a silver, which I think which would, would probably be a better bet if they went that route. They do give you some extra connectivity in there, three USB 3.0 ports. Uh, of course, that Thunderbolt 3 Type-C connector. Uh, there's some LED lighting integrated and supports up to 13 inch graphics cards and even triple slot graphics cards if you need something like that. Currently, this unit, again, is just a demo unit, so there's no active cooling, but they are going to put possibly one, maybe two fans in there. They were talking about maybe integrating a handle up on there somehow. So um, this is still a work in progress. So I'm going to close this video by, again, asking you guys for some feedback. Let Zotac know what you think they should do with this box, because I like the concept of external graphics stocks. It provides a lot more flexibility, especially if you're the type of person who likes to use a laptop everywhere and you still want to get some gaming in. Um, and Lord knows we could use some competition for the Razer Core because that thing is just really expensive. So let Zotac know what you think of this design. Uh, of course, let Zotac know what you think of the other products that we've talked about today. Stay tuned for more coverage from CES 2017 coming right at you. And uh, thanks for watching Paul's Hardware. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out.